Hello guys, so Jerry speaking, welcome to LJP Speed episode number 1228, and today I'll be adding to the Fair Art Gamer episode number 68 from Super Mario World with Shelfware. We add this again in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Hang on. There we go. Cam. 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 Very odd gamer in Shelfware presents Marshall, okay? In Samurai World, okay? Makes sense? Yeah. No kidding. It takes a lot to look at a game like Mario 3 and say, do it again, but better. And yeah. that they did. While Super Mario World first released in Japan in 1990, the year before Sonic, yeah. it didn't come to America until August of 1991. Okay. Almost two months after Sonic was released on the Genesis. Wow. Then it came a new 16-bit console called the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or Super NES. Okay. Or a Super Mario in Japan, okay. Yeah, this game... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Or Super Mario, yes. Or Super Mario Famicom in Japan. Okay, makes sense. Good deal. On. Yep, this game was a lost title for that very console while trying to compete against Sega. Which makes it probably the best launch title ever. Okay. Nowadays, nobody really cared about launch titles because they were more than likely to be overshadowed by later games that would take advantage of the console's capabilities. Okay. But this game is nothing like that. This game really shows how hardcore the Super NES can be. But does the game still hold up after over 30 years? Wow. We'll find out. And once again, we'll be using the Switch Online version. Okay. While on vacation in Dinosaur Land, Princess Pistol Peach. is once again captured by Bowser and it's up to Mario to save her. Done and done. Get used to her getting okay. captured. It happens a lot. Like its predecessor, the game has a map that allows okay. Mario exploration or way to progress through the game. But yeah. unlike its predecessor, the map, for the most part, is intertwined from the main area. Ten. I absolutely love Super Mario World's overworld map. Super Mario Bros. 3's worlds always felt kind of disconnected to me. Here, okay. everything being connected makes it feel more like a grand adventure, instead okay. of just being a series of disjointed levels. And we okay. start off with the first area of the game, Yoshi's Island. Okay. Gameplay-wise, it's about the same as the earlier titles, but because the Super NES controller has more buttons to deal with, Mario can perform more movesets, such as spin jumps, in which he can obliterate enemies as well as certain barriers. Yes. It's also here where we're introduced to a green dinosaur named Yoshi, who tries yes. to save his friends also from the hands of Bowser. Mm -hmm. Now looking right him like a horse, but he can also swallow items and even some enemies with his tongue. While you mm -hmm. can't take an extra hit from him, you can also dismount him and leave him behind. It's a sacrifice that one must make. We're sorry, Yoshi! Yoshi yeah. went on to be a fan favorite character. Wow. It's obvious why. Look yes. He's so cute. Not wow. to mention, you can also swim underwater, and you can even bring them along for more levels. Wow. Unlike the later titles. Yes. Another feature returning from SMB3 is the ability to carry items and throw them at enemies with barriers. Yes. However, in this game, you can also throw them upwards, which is pretty awesome to say the least. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can hold a backup item if already powered up. Yes. If you take a hit, you revert back to regular Mario, and the backup item will automatically drop down. But you can also manually do so with a select button. Yes. In each level, you have to bypass these two poles. But by passing through the elevating tape, you can earn bonus stars. Yes. And a hundred of them automatically transports you to a bonus stage in which you obtain extra lives by playing tic-tac-toe with items. You'll yes. also find the first of four Switch Palaces after finishing Yoshi Island 1. Switch Palace stages come with a pathetically easy stage that may help you out with getting some extra lives. Yes. After a pipe transport and pressing one of these big buttons, it will then fill in these dotted lines with exclamation mark blocks. Mm -hmm. Activating these is essential for 100% completion. More yes. on that later. Speaking of which, you can also gain more lives by either collecting 100 coins, like before, collecting 5 of these Yoshi coins, any combo, etc. 
At the end of each roll, mm. there's a castle stage where one of the Koopa Links decides. You heard right. The Koopa mm. Links have made the return from the last game. The wow. castle stages include avoiding obstacles and, in some cases, climbing on cages while also defeating enemies. Wow. Something that would later return to Super Mario Sunshine 12 years later. Wow. Entering these giant red doors, you'll then encounter one of the Koopa Links. Let me just say right now that these boss battles are pretty easy. They bring wow. knocking Iggy and Larry off a ledge, finding Lemmy and Wendy in one of these pipes. Roy yeah. and Morton can run upside down while trying to stomp you underneath, and those look act about the same as he did before. Oh, okay. Again, very simple. Yes. Defeating them allows Mario, or even Luigi, to blow up the castle, causing that very Koopaling to surrender via white flag. Oh, I wow. didn't know the Koopalings were French. Wow. And the game will even give Mario credit for destroying the castle when Luigi clearly did all the work. Anyway, yes. it's always hilarious seeing how each castle gets destroyed. Iggy gets blasted as through greens. Morgan gets junk kicked. Lemmy gets... Yeah, that. Roy gets... Wow. Did you check that out? Wendy gets mobbed, and Lemmy gets punted from existence. It's good! <laughs> wow. <laughs> My favorite is Woodwind because it just rockets off and hits a nearby hill. <laughs> oh, but wow. thankfully, it leads to the next area of the game. In this case, it's Donut Plains. Donut. Yeah. Is there yeah. anything wow. you can do? It's here where we're introduced to probably the best power up in the entire game, the Cape Feather. Which wow. turns him into Cape Mario. It's okay. more powerful than the Super Leaf, but less powerful than the P Wing. By running at wow. top speeds, you can have him jump at ridiculous altitudes. And can even make him fly or even dive bomb acting as a screen nuke. Yes. Is that flying? This isn't flying. This wow. is falling with style. Both of you are different. This is probably the most annoying enemy in any Mario game, Charging Chucks. Wow. He has absolutely no idea what sport he's playing. Okay. Seriously, he's wearing football gear, yet he throws baseballs. <laughs> yes. He's throwing basketballs, yet he's literally the Michael Jordan of Mario enemies. Besides yes. that, he can jump at you, typically himself, throw uh -huh. rocks, and even warn other enemies about your presence. You're a bully, Charging Chuck. Just like actual football players. Like Tom Brady? Good yeah. thing to tire now. Even though Tom Brady, if you watch this, uh, David, um, say, Tom Brady, go home from the, um, um but for example, the, um, I can't remember what, oh yeah, Prince Charming re reaction video to the, um, SML video would be, um, who wants to be a millionaire video? Continue on. Well, at least he can be defeated via cape feather. Eat the by cave. Plus, we're introduced to ghost houses, which is one of the only few times when Yoshi is forbidden. That in addition to castle stages. Yes. Ghost houses are a bit trickier than normal stages. You have to solve puzzles while dodging mm. ooze, eeries, and giant green bubbles to find the exit. Mm. Oh, and did I mention that some of these levels have secret exits? Wow. Each stage is categorized with a yellow dot and a red dot. Yellow dot stages only have one exit, but red dot stages contain an alternate exit that can lead to either a secret level or a shortcut within the map. Yes. This is simple as putting a key in the hole. In fact, most if not all the secret mansion levels, yes, that's what I'm calling them, contain boss mm. fights at the end, like the Big Boo and Resnor, which can be defeated yeah. by jumping underneath them. Also, These are kind of remind me of rhinoceroses. Deal. All this playing the game requires you to venture to the Star World, but I'll more on that later. Mm. But out of all the secret levels to find in this game, the most important level is the top secret area. Yes. Why? Because it's there where you can restock on items whenever needed. Next up, we have Vanilla Dome, a lovely sparkly cave. There's two paths mm. you can take depending on which exit you take in the first level. Yes. One path takes you through the cave to Lenny Koopa's castle. The other takes you to the top of the mountain where you get to ride on adorable dolphins wearing goggles. It's the best level ever. We then move on yeah. to the twin bridges with butter on top and cheese on bottom. Okay, what? Is this a <laughs> Mario game or a chef recipe? Who's running this game? The Food Network? What, that's a soda level? Oh, if you watch this, Mom, chop and I'm game. I'm just paying for you. Continue on. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Well, the only way to reach this level is by abandoning Yoshi in the cheese bridge area. Again, making a sacrifice. Yeah. Besides having Mario swimming in soda water, we have bullet bill torpedoes provided by Mickey Mouse himself. Wow. Yeah, the three lines on the glove gives it away. Wow. But we now confirm that Mario is officially a Disney franchise. Here's some ideas. How about your kingdom meet a new world in Kingdom Hearts 5? Or better yet, how about Disney Smash Brothers? Or how about a new gaming illusion series? Oh, wait a minute. On that subject, wow. our next stop is the Forest of Illusion. Here you have to find secret exits to find your way out of the forest, as well as find the blue switch palace, the last of the four, and the star ring. Wow. Moving on to the next area, Chocolate Island. 
Chocolate? Wow! Chocolate! <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> and probably the most complicated area of the entire game. Why, you may ask? Because in all some levels, the lies progress to a normal exit, other levels require you to Yeah, a chocolate pot. If why does Lucas a cool guy, the chocolate nuts we signed Spongebob episode for you. Continue on. Your exit in order to move on. Also, Chocolate Island 2 depends on how much time you have left that depends on whether you get the secret exit or not. Yeah. Literally, the most perfect level I've ever had to endure. Yeah. After Chocolate Island, you have the sunken ghost ship. No, it's like wow. the ghost house is underwater. There's actually a fan theory that this may be one of the Koopa airships from Super Mario Bros. 3. I don't know how true that is, but it's fun to think about. Driving this question mark ball at the end clears the level and gives you access to the Valley of Bowser. Which happens to be the final area of the game. Most of these levels have the cave setting, and Valley of Bowser 2 has this one section in which you have to perfectly time your path crossing before getting squashed resulting in a life loss. In fact, the last um, Star World should be found in this area. Um, while we're at it, let's talk about the Star World. Like we mentioned earlier, at many points during the game, you can find Star Roads that will take you to the Star World. Star yeah. World houses some of the toughest levels in the entire game. In some of Chocolate Island 2, finding the secret exit is the only way to advance to the next level. Yeah. Or rather, the next Star World transport. By yes. the way, there are times in which hitting a block unleashes a trail of coins that only you can control and activate the piece which changes said coins to a path. Finding all the secret exits in the Star World takes you to the special zone in which the levels get even harder, and the level names come from an audiobook about the life of Hux Gamer. At yes. first, the waves were pretty gnarly, but after wow. enough time had passed, it was time to hit the tubular waves. Whenever I'm out on the waves, I perform tricks that are way cool. Wow. But I also do some awesome tricks, which gets me groovy. Wow. But then I came face to face with a Mondo wave, dude. Luckily, wow. I knew exactly wow. what I had to do. I had to perform the most outrageous trick I've ever done in my entire surfing career, which I did. Wow. And that's when I knew then and there. That I'd be one amazing funky surfer. Wow. In fact, one of the levels in the special zone, Groovy, is literally the tile screen of this game. Wow. The special zone changes the entire game to an odyssey, recalling some stages and giving some enemies a facelift. Examples include. Um. What? And why is the Pumpkin King's head in this game? Nightmare Before Christmas doesn't come out till three years after. This wow. is way scarier than Friday the 13th. Wow. Finally, we reach Bowser's castle and. Wait a minute. His castle has a back door? Seriously? Did Bowser really think including a back door was a good idea? Wow. Well, thank you, Bowser. I'll take the back door. And Bowser's terrible security takes us right to possibly the coolest fight in the entire series. Wow. Right after being guided by a disco ball. But anyway, you see Bowser is wow. an iconic Super Clown car. Oh, and by the way, Robotic sold us by one year. Wow. Bowser isn't messing around this time, or we'll throw Mecha Koopas, giant bowling balls, and fireballs with jack-o'-lantern faces at you. Wow. We'll even try to use the Koopa Clown car itself to crush you. Wait, wow. a bowling ball? Clearly somebody missed bowling night. And wow. And throwing both his armed Mecha Koopas at Bowser, Bowser... Incoming! Wow. Oh my god! Watch where you're going. I'll, uh, I'll see if that thing ever shows up in Canada. The game Bowser not well, only frees Princess wow. Peach, which results in skyrocketing him to oblivion, the game ends with fireworks, wow. the wow. happy credit scene, and the birth of Yoshi's children. Don't even ask. Like wow. the previous game, it has multiplayer, but only for co-op and for life exchange, so not as useful as the last time. Wow. And that was Super Mario World. Does it still hold up after all this time? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. For a console launch title, it actually did the job pretty well. Mm -hmm. It took almost everything from Mario 3 and took it up another level. Graphically, oh. it looks awesome with incredible level design and different environments to match and characters fabulously updated for the new system. The overall gameplay feels amazing. I can do so many things with mm -hmm. Mario that I haven't done before. Having both wow. a Peach Feather and especially Yoshi definitely provides a fun experience for veterans as well as newcomers to the Italian plumber. Wow. I know the boss fights against the Koopalings are easy, but the run store boss fights as well as the final fight with Bowser definitely mm. provide a whole lot of challenge. And what can I say about the music? It's definitely one of my favorite soundtracks in all the Mario games that wow. I've played. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was around that time when the rivalry between Mario and Sonic had started. Yeah. Hey, if it weren't for Mario, then we wouldn't have Sonic. 
So that's something I want to thank Mario for. Mm. Overall, Super Mario World is one of the best and by far my favorite 2D Mario game I've ever played. Yes. It's a fun experience for gamers of all generations, and it clearly shows why. Yes. If you haven't played this game yet, then please do so right now. Definitely a game to spend your time on. Yes. Absolutely. I honestly have a really hard time coming up with anything bad to say about this game. To me, Super Mario World is nothing short of perfection when it comes to 2D Mario. Mm. Everything from the level design to the control is fantastic. It's challenging without being frustrating, and finding all the secrets makes exploring each level even more fun. The yes. visuals and sound do a great job at showing what the Super Nintendo was capable of. It's easy to see why this game made Sega nervous back in the day. Don't misunderstand me. Sonic is amazing, but Super Mario World will always be the king in my book. Yes. Well, we can all agree that Nintendo hit right out of the park with Mario launching a new console. But it wouldn't be until five years when Nintendo would make another Mario game for the Super NES. The next time we meet, we'll be looking at its sequel, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. I'm the Fairly Odd Gamer, and I wish you all good luck the rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Take care, everyone. Wow. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. And make sure you follow us on social media. Videos and missions available. And now, I wish a character buddy would end up the video right now. Hey there, folks. It's me, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. If you liked what you saw and want to help support the channel, then be sure to check out the Fairly Odd Gamer on Patreon. As a supporter, okay. you can chat with everyone who helped out, as well as other fans, have your name in the credits, and even watch some bonus content such as sneak peeks and even early showings of upcoming game reviews. With that said, it's my honor to present this month's shout out to Luke Jeffers. Thanks a bunch for watching this video, as well as supporting the channel. So that was, oh man. Super Mario World with Shadow Flare. This is episode 68 of Fairy Odd Gamer. What did I think about this episode? I think it was amazing. So far, this episode was a success. That was all to be as episode number 1228. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one. Which will be LGBT as episode number. 1,229, um, which would be about, um, oh man, let's say, um, Mr. Case Clubhouse, Season 1, Episode 1. Till next time, so Jarvis and Bob, so baby, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good time I failed to really understand it. I never sought to meet the maker of reality. The one who gave the life that which is always happening. But I tried all the time. Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.